What are you doing out of your box? <laughs> hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Hey, did you guys hear about that new kid? The emo Muslim? <sighs> Death to America. No, this other guy, Mike Pulaski. He's a complete psycho. I heard he knifed a kid on the playground, then beat up the knife. <laughs> The best way to disarm a bully is to befriend him. Watch and learn. Hey, what's up, my main man? Listen, if you ever need the scoop on the local babe scene, just ask. Yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. Hey, you guys want to sleep over this weekend? My moms are going out of town to a scrapbooking clam bake retreat. What are they going to do there? They'll just be scissoring stuff and eating clams all weekend. Sure, sounds great. I didn't say fudge. I said Oh my god, I'm so sorry! What's your name, dude? Mad Griffin! Three o'clock, Friday. I will destroy you. And they're off. It's Battleaxe, followed by Redbeard, followed by Bishop, followed by Smiling Pink Bear. Oh my god, that's my horse. And on the outside, here comes Tiny Kitten Kisses. No, no, that one. And here comes It's Bedtime. Oh, I do not like him. Meg, what's wrong? Some psycho just transferred to my school and he's going to kill me! <laughs> ah! Good morning, students. This is Principal Shepard with the morning announcements. Remember that all wagers on Friday's Meg Griffin slaughter must be on my desk by Thursday. Oh my god, you guys, what am I gonna do? That psycho is going to kill me. Meg, you gotta find a way out of this fight. Yeah, Meg, you can do it. You're a smart woman, and women can do anything nowadays. I guess you're right. But it's not like it's the 1950s. Hey, Mom, I need to transfer to a different school. Meg, we've been over this. Just because a Facebook page has over 2,000 likes doesn't mean you have to kill yourself. Please, there's other schools. Carlisle Academy leads the state in teen pregnancies, so I might meet somebody. Meg, Carlisle Academy's a private school. We can't afford it. Don't you remember how much money your father wasted so he could make grand staircase entrances? I figured out how to get out of this fight. All I have to do is get expelled. That sex tape I released should be everywhere by now. And then they'll have to kick me out of the school. Ugh, come on, really? <gasps> oh, You know what? Good for her. Hey, guys. You four are pretty much the toughest guys in school, right? What would it take to get you to beat up Mike Pulaski? Mental Mike? Are you kidding? Come on, guys. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll give you a swallow Friday. You mean a follow Friday? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll just pay you. Oh, yeah? Well, you're looking at a thousand bucks for something like that. A thousand dollars? Right. But it's gonna be hard to get that kind of money. I mean, I'm not Judge Judy. What's going on? Did that kid from the future come back? <gasps> Meg, are you okay? You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. I can already picture my funeral. This is such a nightmare. But at least I have you guys. I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, uh, about that. Listen, Meg, we decided that maybe it's best if you don't talk to us anymore. Yeah, we could be targeted by association. I don't want to get beaten up by a guy unless it's in a limo after prom. So you're all going to ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Good luck, Meg. Now we must retreat into the shadows. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Sounds like you have a pretty big problem, Meg. Huh? Mr. Quagmire? What are you doing in here? This is my base of operations. Uh, Mr. Quagmire, the girls' gym class will be in the showers in 20 minutes. Thank you, Shirley. Oh, yeah, they're talking about it in all the girls' bathrooms. I'm so dead. No, you're not, because I'm going to help you defeat Mike Pulaski. You are? That's right. Be at my house first thing tomorrow morning, and we'll get started. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. Well, I better get home. Okay, Meg, you got a bully problem, and I'm going to help you. 
But Mr. Quagmire, why would you want to help me? Because I was once in your shoes, Meg. I wasn't always the confident guy you see before you. You see, I too was terrorized by a bully. It was 1986, and the Cola Wars were at a frenzy. I was sitting in the RC section of the cafeteria when Tracy Bellings approached. Ugh, why aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. She was dyslexic. Anyway, that was the beginning of a long, abusive relationship. It's one thing if you put your penis inside out in the safety of your own bedroom, but to have it done in the cafeteria? To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about rape. And that's why I'm gonna help you, Meg. I never faced my bully. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Oh, thanks, Mr. Quagmire. I'll take any help I can get. I haven't been this scared since my dad stopped showering for six months. Great meatloaf, Mom. Thanks, honey. Hungry! Hungry! Pour food on my pile! Okay, Peter. Here you go. All right, Meg, the best way for you to focus your rage is if I wear the mask of the person who's bullied you every day of your life. Now, when I give the word, I want you to come at me with everything you got. Oh, hey, Meg. Hey, Peter. Uh, you know, Peter, I'm glad I ran into you. Uh, we really need to talk about Quagmire. You got time for a beer? I don't know. He's just so needy, and uh, I feel like he's jealous of our friendship. You all right, Peter? You seem a little quiet today. I'm fine. Oh, okay, good. Mr. Quagmire, how am I supposed to beat a guy like Mike Pulaski? He's massive. He may be stronger than you, but you're grosser, and you're going to use that. Your weird body can be a dangerous weapon if used properly. Okay. Now, do you ever play old school Nintendo? Nope. Well, then what we're about to do may seem strange, but just go with it. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. <laughs> hey, who are you taking to Meg's funeral? I'm taking Jill. Ooh, wise guy, we're going as friends. All right, Meg, remember what I taught you. Relax my throat and make eye contact? No, no, the fighting stuff. Um, listen, before we start, could you not hit me here? Because these are pretty sensitive. Oh! He punched her pretty! <clears throat> Ow, he punched her ugly again! Meg, remember what I taught you. Use the gross. You ready for more? Are you? <laughs> you missed. Oh, what's the matter, Mike? Can't punch a girl in the face? You'd be surprised what my face can do to you. <laughs> All right, you little bitch. It's time to end this thing. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh! Meg won! Huh, not bad for a loser. Thanks for your help, Mr. Quagmire. I guess I get to die another day. Meg, I got a feeling you're gonna be around for a real long time. But I wasn't around for a long time. A year later, my body reacted to a frozen hot dog, and I died of septic shock. I became the public face of internal hot dog defrosting. We now return to Captain Central America. Hey, Brian, can you come in here a sec? Sure, Peter, what's up? You're a well-read guy, right? Well, I don't know. I guess when I read my Henry David, I tend to be pretty thorough. Shut up! Yeah, because you see, I've been reading this novel about three guys, happen to be pigs, uh, that decide to build their own houses. So now one of them builds his house out of straws, right? Now, how the hell do you build a house out of straws? And, and three pigs living together? Gay. You're, you're naked. I'm, I'm right here. Who cares? You're my dog. Everybody gets naked in front of their dog. Besides, you're always naked, except for when Lois dresses you up in that rain gear. Okay, everyone in the car. We're going to Martha's Vineyard. What about Peter? Why, why doesn't he have to wear this crap? Peter's in his crate. I'm actually relieved. The ferry would be overstimulating. Do, 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 taking a shower, taking a little break to bite at the water. <laughs> ah! Oh, hey, Brian. Don't worry, there's no blade in the razor, because I'm learning. Peter, what the hell? What? What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? You're completely naked. I told you I'm not comfortable with that. Brian, I can get nude whenever I want. All right, this is my home, and a man's home is his castle. 
Oh, good. You're alone. Hey, Lois. Why are you wearing a robe? Well, I heard about how Peter's making you see him naked lately, so I thought the only way to get even is for you to see me naked. W really? Yeah, here we go. Ah! <laughs> you thought you were going to see my wife's penis, but no, it's mine. <laughs> you idiot! Hey, is Peter here? Uh, hang on. Peter! Why, Glenn Quagmire, it's been ten years if it's been a day. We now return to B-E-T-E-T. -E -T. Don't you need to phone home? Nah, i do it later. Here you go. Oh, oh God! <laughs> What's in the box, Brian? <laughs> I got you good. I don't feel right. I want it back. Oh, by the way, Rupert, good news. I pooped out your bow tie. Ah, geez, what the hell, Brian? I can't take it anymore. Message for Brian Griffin. <laughs> Stewie, you gotta help me. Peter just won't let up with the nudity. Well, you know how the fat man operates. He won't stop unless he's stopped. The only way you're going to end this is if you find a way to even the score. You've got to be nude. Stewie, I am nude. I'm just covered with fur. Well, shave it off. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Maybe you're right. I mean, I gotta do something. This is just one of those things he won't let up with. Like when he was guest hosting inside the actor's studio. Hello? Cynthia, oh my god, so good to hear from you. Sure, I can talk. I'm just sitting out here in the open. <laughs> gotcha! What? what the hell? Hey, you looking for me? Oh! God, what the hell is that? What's wrong? You look uncomfortable. Here, let me give you a hug. Ah, no! Why don't you rub my belly, pal? Ah, 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 ah. You gonna put your clothes on? Yes, yes, I swear. You gonna keep them on? Yes, I promise. I'll never bother you again with my body. Please, just make this stop. Good. Ah, what is that thing? Ah, make it go away! What's going on in here? Oh, my God. Cold. Well, it worked. Thanks for your help, Stewie. If I knew you were actually gonna do it, I wouldn't have suggested it. You look like my foot that time Lois made my bath too hot. Come on, it's not that bad. My fur will grow back in about three months. Well, I can't look at this for three months, so I've come up with a solution. Put these on. There you go. You look good. You look really good. Hi, Stewie and... <gasps> Stewie! This is next week's story. Get there.